guys today let's see how to use ionic native in your applications and uh, you know we'll just make a simple uh, flashlight application using ionic native so let's get started first i'll create my ionic application um, Ionic start, Ionic uh, to flash blank. This Ionic native is, you know, the successor of NG Cordova as mentioned in uh, the statements from the Drifty Code team that is the creator of Ionic. So, uh, you know, it's pretty much easy to use and it's pretty much wonderful and they are bringing in a lot of functions and it's still in the development stage. So, you know, uh, more and more changes are being updated uh, and even on 17th, I think there was a release. So we'll be using flashlight from the Ionic native package here. It's a, it's basically it could be installed through node package manager. So I'll, I'll pause the video here guys so that uh, you know you guys could have a seamless video without waiting with me to finish for finish the installation of the node modules for this application yeah it's in uh, it's ready now guys so uh, to, the next move is uh, we need to actually install the flashlight plugin cordova plugin flashlight and uh, ionic native uh, to make our app so let's do that ionic plugin add and the plugin is Cordova plugin flashlight. Cordova plugin flashlight. Oh, sorry. CD Ionic to flash. Ionic plugin add Cordova plugin flashlight. Okay, uh, another announcement I want to make to you as of today is that Ionic has released a new command line interface tool, the beta 21, I think. So if you're running beta 19 or 20, you would get these errors, obviously. I just updated, so uh, they are asking me to remove the Ionic config.js file, which is uh, basically like a gatekeeper. If you're running an older version of the Ionic uh, command line interface tool, then uh, it would check it up and say you need to update it that's all okay so the other thing is npm install ionic uh, native save okay uh, let it get installed we will just uh, look at our app now uh, if you look in package.json you can see that the cordova plugin flashlight has been added to our cordova plugins right so okay um, let's go to the home page first of all the app we are going to make will have just one button uh, fab button probably and uh, upon and that that button will act as a both the on off switch that is the toggle switch for our flashlight so uh, let's let's do that first we'll first make the front end screen okay we'll remove the card from here and then uh, button fab primary mm, fab bottom We'll keep it in the center fab center and then uh, click equal to um, align right on okay uh, and then uh, instead of some text i'll just give an icon maybe icon sorry this ion icon right ion icon uh, class so not class name equal to flash okay now we have a button in the bottom and at the center okay uh, let's now hook this up to a backend uh, we need to import it right let's see whether it got installed yeah it got installed okay so import flash like from ionic uh, native and uh, in home page we just need that thing right light on and um, first we'll check whether the flashlight is available using flashlight dot available and uh, if it's available it will return a boolean value which i'll catch here is available and then i'll check the by available 
I will check the value if it's available uh, then uh, flashlight dot top okay so this is a simple um, I think we had simple coding we are doing here uh, we are just first uh, checking whether the flashlight is available in the mobile and then once it's uh, we get a confirmation that it's available we are just turning it on or turning it off accordingly if it's on we are turning it off so yeah let's see if this works uh, since this is a cordova plugin and it's designed to work with the mobile having a flashlight i think it would be a better idea to run it on our mobile so i'll just add the ionic first i'll see if it's connected yeah ionic platform add android android Maybe I'll just uh, start my screencasting tool. Okay, as you can see, we have a fab button right here. I'll just go ahead and, you know, tap it. And wow, yeah, I, oh. I couldn't show you the actual flashlight getting on here but trust me guys it's getting on here and then I'll fly, tap it again and it's off now. So what we have done here is we have created a simple flashlight application uh, which will have a toggle button and you could use it uh, along with your camera app or something. Uh, so maybe we'll, we'll just display a message here saying whether the flashlight is on or off and if it's on it should say on and if it's off it should say off. We'll, we'll just do that. So first we'll see whether we have a, you know, a function for that. We'll just open up the code and uh, available switch on switch. On. Earlier we used to have a function for that called uh, is switched on. Yeah, it's still here is switched on. We'll try using this. Okay, first uh, what we'll do is uh, flashlight dot toggle. Uh, first we'll or something this dot flash status equal to off okay initially the flashlight would be off right so this dot flash status equal to off and we'll have a um, h2 flashlight is uh, uh, flashlight is flash status interpolation obviously okay now uh, what we need to do is what we need to do is uh, uh, we'll go here and uh, once it's toggled we'll check flashlight dot uh, is switched on or uh, we'll have this inside a if statement if flashlight dot is switch on then uh, this dot st flash status equal to uh, on right yeah okay else uh, this dot flash status equal to off okay so now we'll toggle the on off i mean we'll toggle the flashlight and then we'll check whether the light is on if it's on then we'll change the flash status accordingly which will be get reflected on us on our screen or uh, you know it will change to be off if the light is off so let's see if this works uh, okay where is it
okay initially the flashlight is off as expected now i'll just uh, tap on this flashlight is on but it's still showing off right okay it's not working i'm just i just tapped it like six times and nothing happens so obviously it's not working we should raise an issue probably in github that uh, is switched on is not working yeah that's it guys so we made a flashlight uh, using you know i just show you how to use flashlight uh, in the ionic 2 applications using ionic native this could be combined along with your camera app or app or some other app to create an example or you could just write a flashlight plugin yourself uh, using this and it would be helpful so i couldn't show you the switched on thing so that you know you could at least see uh, sorry i couldn't show you the light getting toggled on actually uh, maybe you could just clone this repo and try it yourself on your mobile and uh, the status also this is switched on method is not working you know maybe we'll what we'll do is we'll yeah developers right so we'll just write a simple logic ourselves and get this working maybe instead of you know relying on this method let's try that if it goes fine okay if, if it doesn't go fine no issues right so um, remove this and then maybe I have a counter here uh, this start uh, uh, flash value equal to one okay so once i toggle the flash light i'll add this value flash value equal to no, i'll just increment it by one okay now uh, it will become two so if uh, this dot flash value mod two not equal to zero then uh, should this dot flash status equal to on okay uh, then else this dot flash status equal to off right so what will happen here is uh, we have a counter the counter gets incremented each and every time and then we are checking it whether it's odd or even whenever it's uh, odd it's on and whenever it's even it's fly off okay uh, let's no I just whenever it's even it's on and whenever it's odd it's off okay uh, we'll just check whether this works out fine right that is switched on method if it works fine then we need not write our own logic like this but it's good right now and then we need to you know crack up our own programming skills polishing it polish it like this and you know Maybe make up some new stuff and make the world a better place. Okay, I'll just... Uh, so I'm tapping it here. Switching on. Switching off. Wow, it works fine guys. Oh, sorry, I didn't show the screen, right? Okay, flashlight is off. I'm tapping it on, right? I'll just click it here. And it's on, right? Flashlight is on, you could see and uh, i'm tapping it off flashlight is off so our toggle now works fine and we just made our own is switched on method uh, you know without uh, without the help of the default one so yeah that's that's it guys this uh, this is what i wanted to show you tonight ionic uh, native was the main theme of this tutorial uh, it's a successor to ng cordova and uh, there are a lot of other stuff as well like push notifications uh, facebook uh, camera uh, device uh, geolocation and a lot of other fancy stuff as well you could go through it uh, on, in the documents they have given an extensive documentation on that as you can see here if you get into the plugins
you can see here right action sheet availability badge barcode scanner and uh, there are a lot of fancy stuff so you could play around with all these and you know add it to your ionic 2 app and i, I of course i will be exploring several of these and uh, providing you several tutorials on how to do them as well so yeah that's it guys uh, hope this video was helpful to you uh, please subscribe to my channel if you found this video as helpful and uh, by continuously providing these videos i feel like i am encouraging or motivating several people to uh, learn ionic 2 and you know create awesome apps using ionic 2 uh, that that's my motive actually uh, and uh, please hit thumbs up if you like this video and uh, you know yeah uh, that's it guys so i'll talk to you in my next video and uh, peace bye